Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. We're here tonight in Beverly Hills where the TV Academy is honoring the writers who have been nominated this year for Emmy Awards. So, um, where were you guys when you found out you were nominated? Uh, we were home and um, we were watching TV and we were really excited because Matt got nominated and then he texted us? Yeah, he texted us and said congratulations and I thought, okay, I guess he's saying congratulations because he got a nomination. <laughs> I don't know. And then he said, no, don't you know you guys got a nomination? And we were just stunned. And um, we went online and we're like, oh my God, it's true. It never gets old, does it? No. It's always exciting. No. It's always it's surprising too. Never expect it. Yeah. And especially this year because the, the other people in the category are just amazing. And so it's, it's incredibly flattering. And, you know, for you, you, you've had a very long working relationship with Matt. Um, how has the way that you guys have worked with him changed over the years? How have you cha sort of changed and adjusted your writing over time? I think we really have his voice down. We, yes. Yeah. So I think, also I think we're just so comfortable. We're like family. And so we, we are very open and honest about what we want to do and what he wants to do. Uh, so it's, it's very comfortable. and Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great working relationship from the... The first day when we pitched him the show, we just took him to lunch. We sort of said, here's what it would be. And he'll go, OK, let's do it. And we were in. That was it. Well, there's something about working with people that you trust over time. Hollywood can be such a transient place exactly. to actually have those long-term creative collaborations. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it's, uh, it, it's great having that history together. And he's a doll. And so it's, it's, it's been a great experience. And tell me a tiny bit about um, the writer's room and your process. This I mean, are you... the writer's room. Okay, so there you go. So what happens when you guys disagree? How do you decide whose idea... I just wait until he comes around to my point of view. And That's he does, usually. And I do, it's absolutely true. I'm first like, I don't know, and then after I go, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. All right, so the key, the key is patience. Patience, yeah. Well, have a wonderful time tonight. Congrats to both of you. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.